Hi guys, today I'm going to be trying out the Too Faced Born This Way foundations. Um, this is going to be kind of a almost first impressions review demo kind of thing. As usual, um, I did get two colours in this. I don't usually do this with random new products unless I have read up on them a bit beforehand. Um, but I got Ivory and Warm Beige. I think they both are um, yellow tone ones, but they have a ton of different colours. I'm not sure how dark they go, but those are the two colours I got. For those of you unaware, I guess I should explain why I bought two. I like to fake tan a lot in the summer, and so I like to buy the lightest I will ever be, as well as the darkest I will ever be. So that's why I got ivory and one beige. Um, sometimes I might just use one or the other, depending on what kind of shade I'm at. Other times I might use both, kind of strategically placed on my face. So, so this product is meant to be a medium to full coverage, but also look exactly like skin, hence the born this way. It's oil free. And it says it masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin and coverage so undetectable and skin so naturally radiant they'll think you were born this way. It has coconut water in it, the same as their Hangover um, Primer, which I really like. Um, it also has Alpine Rose to brighten skin's appearance and hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. I love hyaluronic acid. It's my fave. So this is the packaging. Very pretty, very two-faced. And then it just has the pump on top. For this, I am gonna use both colors on my face. I'm gonna use ivory kind of through the center and then warm beige around the outsides. And probably what I'm gonna do is apply it with my fingers or a basic foundation brush. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the Artise brush in Oval 8, I believe. Yeah, um, I've really been liking their brushes for base lately. I also have the Oval 4 um, for concealer. Um, anyway, I think this is a really good one. It makes easy work of it and I think it will give you um, a really good idea of the finish of the foundation. For a foundation, it has a very um, normal consistency. It's not super runny, it's not super thick. And just in case you're wondering about the colors, this is ivory, this is warm beige. I did pick these out because a ton of people had done swatches of the full range. Um, so if you just Google um, Too Faced Born This Way swatches and look on images on Google, it should show you a ton of different um, swatches. That's how I pick every foundation. Um, I'm going to dot the um, two colors around my face with the Lab 2 um, I'm Turning Pro foundation brush. Um, and like I said, I'm going to put the ivory through the center. And then the warm beige, kind of placed as a bronzer or contour, but it's all going to end up getting mixed together anyway, so you, I don't need to be particularly careful with it. And then I'm just going to take that oval 8 brush and start blending it all around. So this is one even covering of the foundation. These brushes do ensure you get a very nice even coverage. Um, so it worked really well with that. It feels like you have moisturizer on, which is very strange because the coverage is really good. Um, I might try and use a little bit of the ivory color just as a concealer around my eyes, just because I feel like trying that. and probably use that as a bit of a base too. And then I'm gonna use the Artist's Oval 4. And 
They actually worked really nicely as a concealer. Um, and I don't feel like it's going to get cakey because it's such a fine consistency. And again, it doesn't feel um, like it's going to be one of those very drying full coverage foundations either. So, um, yeah, so far so good on that. Um, I am just going to quickly make up the rest of my face and set it. And um, I'll let you know how that goes. So this is it with a little bronzer, blush, and just a little bit of powder in certain areas to set it. Um, I am really happy with the coverage. I think that this would be a great foundation for fuller coverage in the summer, especially. Um, I mean, I think it would be good all year round, but if you want full coverage in the summer, I think this would be an awesome one because it doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin, um, like in itself or to touch. So. I will see how it wears throughout the day and let you know, but I really like the finish and I think it is not quite a matte finish, but with a little bit of translucent powder, you absolutely could get it there. But at the same time, if you used a illuminating primer or um, just didn't powder, I think it would give you a really nice luminous finish too. Yeah, I like this little guy so far. So yeah, this was just the foundation in action. Um, and obviously you can see how it looks on the skin and you've seen the colors. I will put a little um, review on my blog, which will be linked below this, so that you can see kind of how it wore throughout the day and what I felt about it um, with regards to wear. And yeah, really surprised at how well it seemed to work as a concealer too, because it's very light, so it doesn't feel like there's anything on there, it doesn't feel like it's gonna cake. Very impressed with it so far. I have used it um, once prior to this, um, but I also wasn't really paying attention to how it wore or um, any of that. I just kind of slopped it on and went. So yeah, I think it's really good. I think you could probably even put another layer on and get it a little bit more fuller coverage if you used a damp sponge. Um, but yeah, I'll put the rest of my thoughts in a blog linked below. And if you've used this foundation, definitely um, let me know what you thought of it. And if you have any swatches of the colors as well, um, maybe just link them below so that everyone else can kind of compare and see what color they would um, find best for them. I really like it. I think it's gonna be my go-to summer um, foundation for when I want to actually wear a foundation and not a tinted moisturizer. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.